couldn't sleep. I even took a drive, y'all, uh, to just help me, you know. I still cannot believe that my honey has been gone a year. It's been a whole year. <clears throat> a lot of you all don't understand my pain. And I pray y'all never, I pray y'all never will. Because it's something that you don't want to go through. Last year, I remember waking up, turning over, and not seeing him in the bed with me. And I wake up like I always do. Because I'm thinking, he's in the bathroom. He's in the bathroom. I'm playing his games on his phone. Like he always do. And I'm calling his name. And he's not responding back to me. And I'm like, David, hey, baby. <laughs> and then something just tells me to go in there. <laughs> and I open the door. I open the door. And I see him laying there, lifeless. <laughs> I remember touching him. He was just laying there like he had, like he just laid there. He couldn't move. Nothing I could do to help him. I couldn't even move him. I had to call the ambulance so much. I thought about that tonight. I thought about how I had to go out outside and get some air. I thought about he had his headphones in one I had to take that out of his ear I had to touch him I had to feel for his pulse I tried to help him and I couldn't I remember the 911 operator asked me could I move him and I couldn't. <laughs> so much. Y'all don't understand behind all this. It was a lot, y'all, going through that, touching him. When they told me to touch him, he was cold. He was gone. I never in my life had to touch someone that was cold, that, that wasn't there anymore. And that was my the love of my life laying there. And I sat in my car 30 minutes ago and all I could remember was the funeral homecoming and walking him right out our front door in a bag. The love of my life. Can y'all imagine? So when y'all see me happy and when y'all see me On this app, happy. Just know. <laughs> For that moment, I deserve that moment. <sighs> that I will never forget them. 
putting him in a bag and walk, watching him walk out of my home. I had to delete the footage off our rain camera because I, I didn't want to see that anymore. I just miss them, y'all. And I hate I hate I had to endure all of that. I just know just know that God does not do anything without reasoning. I just wanna be happy. I wanna be I want to find my peace. <laughs> and I just want to. I just want to. Feel alive again. I want to. I want to feel okay. <laughs> and one day. I know I'll have that peace again. And I know I will see him again. And that's what keeps me going, y'all. Our memories and the fact that I will see him again. That's what I hold on to. Because if I didn't have that, I don't know where I'd be. And one thing I'll never forget. The paramedics, I mean, they worked, and they worked, and they worked, and I'll never forget that paramedics looking at me, and him watching me, and how heartbroken I was, and how he did not want to come and tell me that. that he was gone I say this to say to you guys everything that I express to y'all is my real raw emotions when it comes to grief grief is no joke it will take you the fuck out of here if you're not careful It got to the point, y'all, that I started having heart issues. My heart was broken. It shattered into pieces that my own very heart was hurting. I was on the verge of having a heart attack. I never said nothing to no one, not even my family. But I almost died myself dealing with this so it's true a person can die from a broken heart and it almost took me out of here y'all <laughs> I don't wish this for no one in this I wouldn't wish this on anyone but what I want you guys to do is love on your loved ones while they stay here. Don't waste time. Because tomorrow you may not get that chance. At all. Live each day like it's your last. And be kind to people. Treat others how you want be, to be treated. And spread love and good energy in this world. Remember, we came from love. God is love.